All right, so I have this first part testimony I have to share with everyone. And now if you've watched my other video on when God just had completely paid for my education when I was just, there was just no hope. It's a lot to explain. If you check that video out, this is almost very similar to that video, except for it's a different situation. Now this is a, a health situation. I am diagnosed severe anemia, right? So that means I'm losing a lot of blood. And because of that, I have, um, there's not enough oxygen you know that my blood can my blood can carry around so i can get headaches i get dizzy i'm super fatigued and tired my eyes will get these dark things around and sometimes i break out you know di just different things happen um because the blood is what carries life in the body so when there's not too much of it or there's an issue with with it what for me is hematology um it causes life to leave out of you right so that's what my struggle is but it goes deeper than that right so I'm a youth pastor um not married and I, I'd say I'm pretty young but I'm over 35 and because of that my doctors are in this tug of war with each other right there's a spiritual tug of war so here's the situation if I were to live by the world standards, well, the doctors suggest that, hey, just go out there, find someone, uh, sleep with them, and so you can have your children, and so we can remove your uterus. So this is the thing. My uterus has to be removed. It, It's so bad, my uterus. According to my doctors, the uterus has to go for my livelihood, for me to live life, to have any kind of quality life. But I haven't had children yet. And I want to have biological children. I know there isn't always an uh, option to adopt, you know, but I've always just wanted to have biological children. And they're saying, listen, if the only, there's no hope for your situation. These are his exact words. There's no hope for your situation. Our option, we can continue to give you iron infusions, which is like, I literally just left out. So you see my hand is still banded up, just left out of there. But He's like, we can give you these iron infusions, but it's like, you're like a leaking boat. Like we pour it in and it just comes right back out. You know, that can be expensive. That can be time consuming. It's a lot of different things trying to just maintain to live and still be below the standard. They want to remove the uterus. No kids, no anything. Just take it out. You'll be fine. Or, and they're suggesting, well, go out there, sleep with somebody, go have a child. And once you have your baby, we'll take out the uterus. And I'm like, well, that's. You know, that's going to be a problem, you know, not only because of the call that's on my life, but because of my job and what I do, you know, with pastoring and, you know, just, just, I don't know, there's just some moral stuff in there that's kind of a little off, you know, and so the, so now I have to go through this procedure where I would go to this place that they have donated embryos. That means they're already... I don't want to give a whole lesson on on how the body works but these are embryos and they're already fertilized that means these are babies and they can put the baby just straight inside of you you don't need to go and have sex with somebody you don't need nothing they just go ahead through in vitro through ivf they'll put that child right in you and it comes already fertilized and then there's like okay well with my position and what i do you know how is the world gonna take that you know, how would Jesus see that? Do I just, for the love of the people and the and the love of my job as a pastor and of God, do I sacrifice my womb to make sure everyone is comfortable and okay? You know, and so it's something I've had to kind of pray about. But here's the thing. I'm in an impossible situation, right? It seems impossible. Like morally, physically, spiritually, everything. It just seems absolutely impossible. But that's why I smiled when I was in my appointment because it's in the impossible. It's when you're at your weakest, when God is like, oh yeah, 
I'm going to use that situation and I'm going to use it to encourage somebody else. So I have what's called fibroids and I've had two surgeries already. Nothing is working. They take them out and they just come right back like it never even left. And I know a lot of women out there struggle with different gynecological problems and different things that happen. And sometimes you can lose faith and lose courage. But I just come to encourage somebody. To, and this is not even the complete testimony, right? So right now the video you're seeing is when i just got my news like like right now i just got the news that hey donna um we're gonna have to remove that uterus and like very soon so go do something now that's the news i just got there's no hope for you go do something now and i said all right cool thank you very much and i came out here immediately and i'm like i'm gonna use it to give god the glory He's going to get the glory. I honestly don't know how the story is going to work out exactly. I'm going to pin that comment of what happens on this video. As soon as it happens, you mark my word. Hey, if you can pray, you know, pray with me, pray for me. So this is like a partial testimony. It's like a part one testimony because this is the bad part. This is when you're supposed to panic and be like oh my gosh you know what makes me a woman you know or what i believe part of what makes me a woman is being able to give birth to a child you know that i don't know whether that's true or who believes that or what's going on but anyways the mind tells you a whole lot of things in this situation and do i just go and do that or whatever but i am simply just gonna trust god i'm gonna go through a process and whatever i end up doing i'll put it in these comments and i hope that it encourages somebody because i'm living proof that God works in the craziest situations. This situation is crazy. Stay tuned because I guarantee you he's going to do something that wows myself and wows anyone that's watching this video and be encouraged whatever health situations you may be experiencing, whatever diagnosis people try to place on you, what they tell you it has to be. You're not bound to that. Words do carry life and they carry death, but the word of God it, it can speak life, it can breathe life into you, into your situation. Be encouraged.